Welcome to Sci Five, the show where we talk about five scientific and technological innovations that happened this week. I'm Chris J. Kirk, and this week we'll be talking about the world's smallest electric diode and clothes that can clean themselves, and more. In a bizarre twist, scientists at the University of Columbia are attempting to hide the Earth from detection from aliens. You may be asking yourself, why would they be trying to do that? But scientists have their reasons. The biggest concern from extraterrestrials is that they could harvest our planet for resources, or they may have hostile intent. The current plan is to use lasers to conceal our planet like a cloaking device. By correctly aiming beams at extraterrestrial suns, scientists say that we would be able to conceal our planet from the light that it blocks as it passes in front of the sun. This is the method of detection we use to find exoplanets, and assuming they haven't gotten a better way to find exoplanets, it would effectively conceal us from their view. Do you enjoy doing laundry? Because that was a rhetorical question. With the exception of laundromats who make a profit, the average person does not enjoy the constant maintenance it takes to keep clean clothes. Scientists at the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology say they've developed a way for clothes to keep themselves clean without much effort at all. The material they've developed on the nanoscale effectively dissolves small-scale particles that are organic with exposure to light or sunlight. The process that occurs takes less than six minutes and makes any stain or tarnishing flake off of the clothing with exposure to light. The nanoscale replication of this process is apparently rather economically viable. However, no mass industries currently exist to create this, but expect to no longer do laundry in the future. Scientists at the University of Copenhagen have developed what they call reverse photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process plants take in order to create sugars using sun and air. In this new process, biomasses from straw or wood can be returned to a state used for fuel. The key to this process is a newly discovered enzyme that can break down components in the process and convert it into fuel. Other advantages of this technique are that the waste products are easily transferred into a new mass for bioplastics. According to current research, the process is 26 times more effective than current processes for creating biofuels from ordinary disposed organics. The University of Georgia has created a nearly perfect diode. Diodes are crucial in electronics and allow the flow of electricity in one direction while constricting it in the other. In this new discovery, scientists have used a 11 base pair long strand of DNA as a diode with extreme efficiency. This diode broke two world records as it is currently the world's smallest and the most effective in terms of resistance with 99.925% of the electrical flow being constricted in the resistant direction. In past episodes, we've discussed xenon electric beams capable of reading the small-scale interactions on the atomic scale using femtosecond bursts. So that's complicated as hell, but breaking it down, um, we can see the interactions between atoms on uh, the time scale that it exists at. This week, scientists took that process and upgraded it one more time to about 10,000 times its efficiency. And that's just in a couple weeks, so that's pretty impressive. This new process, developed by a team at Stanford, cools the material we're analyzing down to negative 456 degrees Fahrenheit, making it even easier to tell what's happening on the atomic scale. That's all for this week, and we'll see you next time on Sci-5. If you like hearing me talk about stupid stuff, check out Mythicist Milwaukee's channel, link in the description below. And you can see a video about my discussion for global climate change. Yeah, it's just as you assuming it's nothing but these humans would like to blame mythology for everything they do.
on They pray for non-existent gods to clean up the mess But never take responsibility, just claim it's a test See that religion you be given is shit and it's all poison And it's partially the reason we bleed and it's all poison Though your worldview is poison, and your outlook is poison Denied all you want, but the truth is it's all poison